Hey, my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Tourism Before. This is Sky Hurricane, and look at this, it's Halloween on here. <laughs> of course, it won't be Halloween this one, it's uploaded, but it says Halloween on the game. But we run through the World Compact Car Championship, and I just, I'm actually being wise now, and I actually did a little testing beforehand. And I tested this CZ3 Tarmac, and it was way overpowered for that. Well, I mean, it was a six-point race. Which is more points than what the historic car, or the, yeah, the classic car championship was. Which was ridiculously brutal, but, yeah, we're going to pick something that might be a little harder than that. You know, a little bit more of a challenge, maybe. So it has to be 4,000 millimeters or less. Now this is 4,000 millimeters or less, I think. Yeah, 3,800. I feel like I've already used the Kasabi so much. Hmm, it's Janetta. Or heck, this Audi Bianchi, even. You know what? I'm going to use this Janetta. It's not going to be a hatchback like all the other ones, but you know. Be all right. uh, let's see. Might need to do a little bit of tuning to this. Because, well, the CZ3 Tarmac at 200 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really bring it down very much. This really doesn't have much weight to lose, you know. Have I even driven this for anything? Yeah, I had to. Sure, I did anyway. Hundred horsepower. And let's just do this, and then we'll do a limited slip. And it's the latest with 115,000 credits, so I think we'll be fine, maybe. Alright. Besides, we hadn't really used this Janetta for anything anyway. So, let's try it. Hopefully, I won't be ridiculously underpowered. We got a Mini Cooper, a Peugeot 206, Opel Tiger, a Ford Ka, and an Opel Corsa Comfort. Somehow, none of those look too intimidating. But they may be tuned up very, very well, so you know, we got to be on our toes. But I think all this is probably, man, one thing I should have got for this. Since it's an old car, it needs better brakes. I should have invested in that. You know what? I'm actually going to leave that on 10. And this seems to have decent traction. So I'm actually going to minimize that. Alright, well, we'll see how this goes. It may be very difficult to control. We will see. Oh. I want a 12 point race. Okay. I want six more points than the CZ3 Tarmac. I probably didn't need to put anything into this car. They are faster than I am, though. Look, they're leaving me. <laughs> Local Corsa. Oh, wow, that Opal Corsa's getting down. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember the brakes in this car are horrible. Of 
course they all have front wheel drive so they're going to be horrible in cornering but then again I'm ancient so I'm also going to be horrible in cornering so ain't this just something probably should uh, increase that initial torque so it's not want to spin out quite as crazily. Oh man, the brakes on this thing. The brakes on this thing. They're so bad. I shouldn't have gotten anything else. I should have just got brakes. That should have been the thing I got. taking my time man <laughs> I don't feel like I really need to be overly aggressive in this yeah I did I used this for the FR challenge didn't I that's right Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. This car is way too lightweight. It's like a little go kart. fun little thing to drive you know this actually would have been a good choice for that classic car cup too because this thing actually tunes up pretty good with the turbo i think then again that freaking ac cobra thing man ugh. I figure this might have been better than the GTO, I don't know. If I'd had any sense, I would have paid attention that I had this, but I didn't even notice it. There for a while, I was thinking the only thing I had was the Skyline. And I didn't realize till after I bought the GTO. Done is done. We are killing them. I guess what I could do is um, take off a couple of parts that I put on it. See if that makes it a little more challenging. You know what, I could let Granny have a race in. Actually, she got to do her first race in the last part. She did pretty good, too. I'm proud of her. Well, she kind of did good, except for at the beginning when she was not passing anybody. <laughs> she made up for it, though. I might let Granny take this car out for a spin. How about it? Obviously, I was, I'm going to run away with this regardless. Oh 
my gosh. I actually really like base spec though because you can watch your car in motion, you know, it's pretty cool. You get a replay view of your car, you know. It's pretty sweet. I really don't know if I need to change the initial torque on this or not. It handles pretty good as it is. Twelve hole points. We're going to Disneyland. Golly, that opal course of comfort was getting down, man. Golly, that little granny with this little 1.4 liter engine is kicking it. She was in a hurry to get that bingo game, man. Pushing my clock back like a There we are. That was loud, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't mind. These are cool like that. Definitely wasn't used to the brakes this car at that point. They gave him that Pontiac GTO had better brakes in it. <laughs> That's saying something. That definitely is saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big that Corsa was compared to this thing. That's hilarious. Oh gosh. I guess before I take some parts off, I, I might let Granny have race in. It's fun to watch Granny drive. And I decided that you should never trust Granny. So, eh. Let's go ahead and take off a couple parts. Make this a little more challenging, I guess. Well, probably won't be much. I mean, we didn't really put anything on this, honestly. Take off the exhaust, I guess, 95 horsepower. Take off the chip, 91. Yeah. So pretty much we're just dealing with a stock Janetta G4. Except for weight reduction stage 1 and a... Oh, 38 points. Man. Weight reduction stage 1 and the drive shaft. Carbon drive shaft. It's interesting though regarding Granny, aka Beast Big, um, it will uh it definitely will gather skill over time and it will become better. Like a certain race that Beast Big would lose now, it might actually be able to win not you know it might be able to win pretty good later. You know, if you use it a lot. So that's pretty cool, actually. Mini Cooper, why are you so far back here? I don't understand. Yeah, they're definitely faster than I am on the straights, but, man, they suck on the cornering. Look, our corner's pretty, pretty good, man. As long as you break early enough. Whoa, little Corsa! What you doing there? So Tigra's way up here. I'd say this is a fun little. Fun little championship. I 
you know, spy having these little granny cars. Seems like green and yellow have been the common colors in this in this group. Yeah, he probably will pass me here. I did get a much better exit though than him. Maybe he won't pass me. Well, at least we ain't gonna win lot by like 10 seconds like we did on last race. Matter of fact, did they even finish? I don't even remember. We're getting away now. This little car really is good on this track. Oh, whoa, Tigra, Tigra, are you okay there? Whoa, man, he went all out. I guess it really hurt him too much. Well, I don't know, the other one's kind of caught up to him. Heck, we might win this by 10 seconds now. Jeez. I love how since this car is so light, man, our tires have not warmed up at all. That's just awesome. Do, 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 do. Eight seconds, wow. His car's under 500 kilograms. You know, this thing actually, I'm stuck there, but this thing actually is uh, not much heavier than that freaking Mercedes Benz motor carriage. <laughs> Thank Tiger, you had one job. One job. I kind of went wide there. Oh, well, still got a good exit speed on it. 38 point race. Well, taking all that stuff off really didn't make much of a difference, did it? 9.3 seconds. Hmm. Yeah, the Mini Cooper got second on the last race. I don't know why it switched that up, but it did. It most certainly did.
Alright, station three, let's do it. Grand Valley East reverse. 38 points. <laughs> oh, this little Janita. I love how we're all on a perfect line. I don't know why we had to have a rolling start on this. Why couldn't we have done? Not that it really matters. I mean, yeah, I'd just soon be a rolling start. Makes it go by faster, I guess. I mean, it really probably wouldn't make much of a difference in this situation. Although some, sometimes rolling start actually is better for me, and sometimes it's worse. In this situation probably doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, I don't know why I hit the brakes there. This little Peugeot was bullying my little bitty car. Mini Cooper, you gotta get your title back. Man, he's faster than I am for sure. A lot faster. Oh my gosh, car. Control yourself. Ooh. Now we can gain on you a little bit. I was getting kind of worried there for a second. I'm like, I'm really not gaining on this dude. Okay, I messed up there again. But let that be a lesson learned. I think we still got this. Mustn't forget how the last race went. Although this track's a little more of a speed oriented track where they definitely have the advantages of speed. Tigers getting down. Howdy, my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane, and look at this, it's Halloween on here. <laughs> of course, it won't be Halloween this one that's uploaded, but it says Halloween on the game. But we run through the World Compact Car Championship, and I just, I'm actually being wise now, and I actually did a little testing beforehand. And I tested this CZ3 Tarmac, and it was way overpowered for that. Well, I mean, it was a six point race. Which is more points than what the historic car, or the, yeah, the classic car championship was. Which was ridiculously brutal, but, yeah, we're going to pick something that might be a little harder than that. You know, a little bit more of a challenge, maybe. So it has to be 4,000 millimeters or less. Now this is 4,000 millimeters or less, I think. Yeah, 3,800. I feel like I've already used the Kasabi so much. Hmm, it's Janeta. Or heck, this Audi Bianchi, even. You know what? I'm going to use this Janeta. It's not going to be a hatchback like all the other ones, but you know. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. Might need to do a little bit of tuning to this. Because, well, the CZ3 Tarmac at 200 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, 
and didn't really bring it down very much. This really doesn't have much weight to lose, you know. Have I even driven this for anything? Yeah, I had to. I'm pretty sure I did anyway. And let's just do this, and then we'll do a limited slip. And so, I use for 115,000 credits, so I think we'll be fine, maybe. Besides, we hadn't really used this Janetta for anything anyway. So, let's try it. That forward call and that Peugeot were kind of sucking at me. Alright. Yeah, I'm guessing two more races. So, another. 15,000 points, points, credits. Well, that'll be good, because, you know, oh, golly, Hong Kong. We really didn't spend much on this, so. So I got to outmaneuver the AI on this wonderful track. Problem won't be too hard. I'm so sorry, Carl. I really didn't mean to do that to you. Although they do that to me all the time. Oh, God. Okay, well, that sucked. This race might be a little more interesting, y'all. I definitely figured it would be more challenging. Oh god, oh gosh. Whew. Scary. Okay, we're not trying to make a clean pass, but I just can't do it. Very difficult to make a clean pass on a track like this. I actually think I passed the Mini Cooper briefly around that corner as I went wide, very wide, and then somehow I pass it back on the way in. I'm actually surprised that lap was under two minutes. Follow this opal here. going very slow right now. Going for the pass before this this thing of a curve here. And 
once I'm out, I'll accelerate him out of the corner. All right, but that tiger is way up there. Can we catch him? Not if we're gonna drive like that, we're not. I don't know why I'm in third gear, but I am. Okay. Guess we'll just stay in third gear. Okay, now let's not stay in third gear here because we'll catch this dude. This is a fun little thing to drive, man. It really is. Yeah. What are you doing, Tiger? Look at you swerving. <laughs> I made a clean pass, but then I hit the wall, so well, it doesn't count. Yay for sucking. This wonderful curve here. <laughs> the AI just really sucks on this track, don't they? Well, I don't know. It's probably just these cars. They just poor little granny mobiles. Actually, I remember to shift down to second there this time. Just like that, we have a decent little lead. And the Tiger is still far ahead of the Opal Corsa. not expect to get this far ahead of them even though the previous races have gone that way I mean this is Hong Kong for crying out loud seems like you do this track as much reverse as you do it forward though Eight point six seconds. Wow. Hmm. Another guy's right underneath me there. This really is a cool track. Might be one of my favorites in this game, as evil as it is. Don't know why I did that. Can we make you 10 seconds behind? I have a feeling we can. Y'all, and I just passed it two laps ago. It's just unreal. It's like it just gives up, man. Gives up. Oh, so who's texting me right now? Seven seconds, wow. Alright, so we just got one more now. 
<laughs> One more rice. Can we win it? I don't know, y'all. Can we? Alright, Twin Ring Motegi East Short Course. Alright, let's do this. This is the longer course of the two. Four laps around it, too. Well, at least they're not giving us the full course. That would be like two and a half minutes per lap with these slow cars, probably. Janetta. Okay, that was not the best pass in the world. Oh man, I can tell you right now, they're going to suck on this track. The way I'm already passing them. This is already going much better than Hong Kong. They start out with a pretty good lead though, 4.1 seconds. I like that new Mini Cooper, it's kind of cute. I don't think they have the old Mini Cooper in this game, I don't know why. gain very much. And again, we're kind of driving succulently too. What license did you have to have for this? I know you had to have the International B for the World Classic Car Championship, but surely you don't have to have International B for this. I mean, golly, it's not hard at all. You can win this very easily with an untuned Janetta. Y'all leave this freaking short course took two minutes with these slow cars. There we go. Golly, we ate him up through that section. One second now. Come on, Tiger. It's the last race. Put up a fight. Said the Japanese flag. I don't know what those other two flags are. Okay, I messed up last time in this section. I'm <laughs> just, I'm just pushing it. Let me help you out, Tiger. Easy race is easy. Yeah, it could be easier, I guess. It's amazing though, this 38 ace big point race is so much, so much easier than that one point ace big race on uh, the World Classic Car Championship. Just insane, man. Oh, wow, 147 for the last lap. I just now realized that. It's 
It's a lot better than two minutes. It's nice how much faster the second lap is. Okay, let's see if I can do this section right this time. There we go, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go indeed. Out into the crud. Well, we had a 4.6 second lead. Now it's probably like 1.6 seconds. Oh, well. seconds. Lost two and a half seconds on that lap. Oh wow, still got a five point one second lead, really? Didn't take advantage of my screw up at all, did it? This little car is fun to drive. Let me guess now, seven seconds, man. Just guessing. Oh, 6.1. How dare I be off? Okay, let's see if we can do it right this time. I took a much worse driving line. Oh well, that didn't go how I would have liked, but seven point eight. Let me guess, it'll probably finish nine seconds behind. Take that as a guess. since I have nothing better to talk about. <laughs> That's the thing about all these racing videos. I really don't have anything to talk about. My best lap, though. And... 9.3. Dang. Pretty good guess. And the Corsa did not finish. Well, 50 out of 50. Well, that was a nice, relaxing little championship in comparison to what was before it, what preceded it. And we got some of our money back, too, so it's nice. We're still a lot less than what we were before that, but it's okay. It'll be all right. And we win the Honda S800 race car, 68. <laughs> oh, look at that little thing. Oh my, look at that little thing. Ain't it so adorable? Ain't it just so adorable? Oh, what, what's in here? I'm gonna be checking this all the time. Y'all, it seems like that bluebird's always the first thing you see, or this, Seems like 79 or 81. I actually do like that bluebird too. Darn. Hey, 15%. It's funny how it says the beast of big mileage, zero miles, but Granny did do one race, I don't know what. It says that. All right, let's see. 
where is that thing I just want? I forgot what in the heck it was. It was just like two seconds ago and I already forgot it. Oh yeah, the Honda is like 100 horsepower. Well, worth quite a bit though. 53,124. 660 kilograms. I bet that's a fun little thing to drive. I bet you it is. All right, my friends, we're gonna stop right here. Next time we'll take on the supercar cup. I have no idea what I'm gonna use. I have quite a few options, but join me next time and you'll see, I guess. So thanks for watching. Have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.